What's up, class? Today I'm going to be talking to you about if the iPhone 10 is still a worth it purchase in the year of 2023. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. So, this iPhone 10 here is the base model, uh, 64 gigabyte black iPhone 10. Uh, this phone regularly goes for um, a few hundred dollars on eBay. I'd say it goes for about 200 to 300 dollars on eBay, which is a pretty solid deal for a phone like this. Now, this is the first ever iPhone to introduce the signature notch and the no home button, the OLED display, and the vertical camera just like this. And this is one of the only uh, iPhones that have ever been released that have the vertical camera. Now, let's talk about cameras because I feel like that's what a lot of people care about in a phone. The front camera can shoot 1080p at 30 frames a second, but I believe that is it. The back camera can shoot in a full 4K at 60fps, and we do have that telephoto zoom, which even my current iPhone 13 does not have, which means you can zoom in 2x without any loss in clarity whatsoever, and it's awesome to have a telephoto camera, and it would make a great spare camera if I ever needed one. Now, the display is extremely good. As I said, it is OLED, and blacks are black, just like my iPhone 13. Um, if we happen to, like, messages, you can see this is black. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, you can't even see any pixels. It's such a sharp display, and it's really awesome. It's a 5.8 inch display. And it just looks marvelous with a pixel density of 488 pixels per inch. You can perceive no pixels. And it is an absolute stunner of a display. Now let's talk about one of the disappointing factors of this iPhone. Now that would probably be the battery life. So the battery life on this phone is currently not amazing. Um... It does not last very long, and this phone was never known for having good battery life in any way, shape, or form. Right now, we are at a solid 87% battery health. It's not great. Um, we are running the latest iOS 16.3, but that's probably not helping with the battery. Maybe it is. I don't. I just don't know. Um, and if you do pick one of these things up, make sure to get the black one because the white ones are more expensive. For the only reason, because less people just bought the iPhone, the white iPhone 10. More people bought the black one because it looks better, in my opinion. And now let's talk about a very important part of the phone, performance. Now, I'll just show you me swiping around the UI. It's not bad. It's not slow either. It has the Apple A11 Bionic chip, which is the chip just before iPhones got extremely fast. So I'd say the turning point for iPhones being so fast would be the A12 Bionic. That is when, uh, that is the chip that was released uh, after this phone. Um, and that chip is probably uh, Apple's breakthrough. That was the chip that made iPhones really fast and felt like iPhones. Um, this A11 chip heats up a lot. It gets extremely hot just by charging. Um, it's still a very fast phone, but you can see I cannot close out of this message, so I'm not sure uh, how fast this phone is in terms of speed. As you can see, it kind of froze up on me here. So that's not very good. So this phone had a little bit of a freeze, but that's okay because I got it back up and running. The A11 chip does get extremely hot under just basic everyday tasks now, and it's not the best chip Apple's made. It's the first chip that Apple's made with a neural engine in it, which is extremely interesting because my iPhone 13 uh, right now that I'm recording on has many more cores of the neural engine than this phone ever will have. And this is also the first iPhone to ever have Face ID ever. Now, Face ID on this phone is a lot slower than my iPhone 13, but that's to be expected. It was the very first generation of Apple's Face ID um, that they ever introduced. So now let's talk about should you actually pick one of these up or just forget about it? Um, I would say you should probably, if you're like on a very old iPhone, like an iPhone 6, 6S, maybe even 7, and you want that edge-to-edge -edge design for the cheapest cost possible, and it has good battery health and is in good condition, then pick this phone up. I should say you should probably pick up the one with more storage, the one with 256 gigs of storage, um, and the one, find it in black because it's cheaper, then go ahead. I mean, you'll love this phone. I love this phone. It's my favorite Apple phone design ever. 
I mean, it's so thin, it's so beautiful, and it has so much functionality, and the anodized aluminum is awesome. So that's a video showing you guys if the iPhone 10 is worth it to buy in the year uh, 2023. I would say it totally is if you're coming from an older phone, but don't upgrade if you're coming from like an iPhone 8 Plus or something. Keep that, because that's a good phone with the home button. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh... If you guys want me to do more videos with this phone, then surely comment on the video. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.